Don't very, very, very hungry. Huh? Honey? Please. Eggs to, to eat. I'm very hungry. Really? Yes. You want eggs to eat, right? You want eggs. Take it. Ha! You want eggs, right? That is it. Eat it. Take all of it. Papa, I'm ready to go. Hey. Don't worry, when I get to the city, I'll send you something. Some money. I, I thought that you would stay till tomorrow now with me. Papa, considering my husband's condition, <laughs> nobody is there to take care of him. So I have to go. You know I'm in sight now. Miss I. So I have to go, Papa. Hmm. It's alright, no problem, eh? Yes. But before you go. Let me go and present you to the gods so that they will grant you your mercy. Okay? okay? Okay, Papa. Let's go there. Oh. Ah. Hey! Remove your shoes. Uh -huh. Hey, Kukumeku. We are here once again. And I am here to present my daughter to you, who is about to travel to the city. The purpose is for you to grant her Johnny Mercy. You say. <clears throat> um, Doris, yes. tell this cooler. Speak into it. Tell the great Ekukumek, whatever you want them to do for you, they will oblige you. Okay, Papa. Ekukumeku, I want money. I want connection. And I, I want above all, my husband to see again. Oh. Ekukumeku, the great gods of my ancestors. You have heard from your daughter. We pray that you grant her all her requests. You see. This is the cola. This cola is for you people. Hey, Kukumeku. Uwano. Uda. Agadaga. Ochakera, achaket. Yeah. Oye, kujua daku. Come back here. Where are you going? Papa, I'm going to work as you can see. You are going to work as you can see. Come on, stay there and join these prayers. Which prayers? The prayers to the gods of my ancestors. A kukumeku. I've said it before. I will never worship mommy gods. Mommy gods. Mommy gods. I will never worship mommy gods. I will only worship God above. God above. God above. God above. Hey! Hey, Kukumeku! Please, forgive this my son, for he do not know what he's doing. I also pray that 
you will not allow him to turn to a foolish. You see. Because he is the one to take after me in serving you when I am no more. You see. Call him back to understand that you are the great Ikokume. yesterday okay <laughs> I'm sorry my father and I had a very long conversation yesterday and after which he was tired hmm? it's okay I'm sorry mama, it's hi is mama <sighs> mama is fine you know mama today she is fine tomorrow she is sick next tomorrow she's okay <sighs> I just talk about life and she's okay it's well you know she's old <laughs> There is the aspected of her. Oh, I miss oh, you. I'm happy to see you. So when are you going back? I'm on my way already. What? You know my husband's condition now. Eh? His condition is getting worse by the day. Mm. Babe, I'm tired. The doctor said that he's permanently blind. Jesus. Oh, I don't know. I just have to be around him to like help him, you know the movement and all that. I'm sorry. Oh, like this. <laughs> like this. Abby. Thank you. This is so good on you. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Don't no worry, very soon you'll join us in the city. Really? Yes, now. Yes. We join you in the city. Exactly. Oh, wait, so uh, do you mean to tell me that you want to stay in the village forever? No. to go upstairs now because I'm expecting someone. Oh, Mama. Hmm? I just had a very sweet and lovely dream. Mm -hmm. We were making love in the dream. And it's it's making me want to make love to you. You know, it's, it's been a while you, you made me touch you. Eh? Why not let us go upstairs and, you know, have a nice one. Not, not a quick you, uh, but you know how I do. Eh? I just said I'm expecting a visitor and you're here talking about sex. Please, stand up, stand up, stand up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hurry. Okay, yeah. Let's wave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. So keep moving. If your visitor goes, will you, will you come upstairs? They just keep going, okay? Continue. To you haven't said anything now. Let just go. Okay. Mm. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, you want sex? Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch where you're going to. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of a life is this?
Like this. Oh. Um. Baby, you know. Easy. You know, I love to work out, but ever since the accident, I, I've not been able to. So, I want you to help me to work out today. Huh? Will you help me so that I can? I can. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> You're funny. Let's go. It's fine. Easy. Okay. Hey, huh? I think we've done enough for the day. Let's go home. Why now? Let's just go one more lap, then, then we'll go to the house. Ha! Abba! I'm tired! See, if you're not ready to go home, I'm going to leave you here. Are you ready to stay here or go with me now? Okay, I'll follow you. Let's go home. Hello? Dorothy, father is very sick. What? What happened to papa? Dorothy, I don't know. Then take him to the hospital. You see, I've made effort to take him to the hospital. He said he's not going unless he sees you. Dorothy, you have to be here right now. I don't know what could happen next. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, I'm expecting you. Please hurry up. Hey, hey, Chidi! Papa, where is Papa? He's inside. Ah, Papa. Yes? You don't look sick. Uh, From uh, what he told me, that you're very sick. But you don't look sick. Papa, did you just walk out by yourself? I am not sick. I am only suffering from financial attack. I need money. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Papa, don't tell me you have to lie on your health, Papa. Papa! What is that your name, Chid, or what did they call you? Did I ever tell you that I was sick? I said, I have financial attack. I need money. Papa, see, to be sincere, I don't have money. I don't have money at all. Papa? I know you have been up and doing, but of recent, all I hear from you is that you don't have money, you don't have money. What is the meaning of that? Papa, but you should know now, eh? My husband is sick. He's blind. And obviously, he's no longer going to work. And I've been the one catching for this family, so you should understand now that there is no money. Papa, we know that our in-law is sick, and I suppose you should understand. Papa, uh, you know that our in-law is sick. Uh, you supposed to understand. A grown-up man like you, are you not up to the age of making money and be given to your father? Papa, God's time is the best. God's time is the best. Stay there until your old age. God's time is the best. The gods of my ancestors have refused to say something about his blindness. Well, probably he may have committed an abomination that attacked him the wrath of the gods. Papa, what gods are you talking about? I am talking about the gods of my forefathers, the gods of my ancestors. I am talking about the gods that I inherited. Anyway, my dear daughter, Papa. I have an alternative option. Papa, what alternative are you talking about? See? I will go and present you to the gods so that they will attract to you another new rich guy that has money. 
Nyaf, nyaf. A guy that will be funding us, giving you and giving to me. If it is in the folk, women folks, they will say a side chick. But on your own case now, it's going to be a side guy. Eh? A guy by your side that will be doing everything. The gods of my forefathers, the gods that I inherited, the gods that make things happen. This is Kola Lord. It is broken in your honor. I am here to present your daughter before you. All we are asking for is for you to favor her. Favor her on a K market day. Favor her on Oreo market day. Favor her on Afro market day. Favor her on Uko market day. This is your color. They said after eating, you drink. You have it, take it, take it. All shall be well with my daughter. Yeah, you're welcome to my little home, my little apartment, one of my houses, actually. You can please have your seat, please. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So feel free, feel at home is one of my little apartments in the country. Please, can you talk to me? I almost hit you. Well, um, I only accepted to come with you because I want to be distracted. I don't want you to, like, take it as an advantage. Well, I don't discuss my personal issues with strangers. Babe, a problem shared is half solved. Can you please tell me about it? I don't think it's necessary. Maro, you look familiar. Like I've met you before somewhere, somehow. I don't think so, because I, I told you I'd be abroad, so and I just flew in like some days back. So I don't think it's me. Don't stress it. You're a little bird. Okay. Okay. Problem. Um, so what can I offer you? Anything. Kaite! She even left my TV on. Kaite!
Baby, I, I'm very hungry. Why are you? Honey? Baby? Thanks for today. You actually made my day. You're welcome, darling. Anything for you, baby. <laughs> okay. So, um, as for your request, um, I understand. Okay, it's kind of a little bit complicated. Um, but if you want me your heart, it's fine. If you don't mean your heart, it's still fine. It's up to you. I accept. What? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you mind? You want to come inside? I don't mind, baby. Take me in, baby. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Oh, baby. What? Papa, guess what? <laughs> okay, what? Papa, mm -hmm. hmm. do you know that after that prayer mm -hmm. you made, two days later, the man showed up? Hey! Hey, Kuku Meku! Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Papa, not just any man. Uh -huh. A handsome and wealthy man. Hey, hey Papa. Hmm. Wait until you see the main thing. Look at. Eh? He said I should give this to you, and that he will give you more. Dora. <laughs> this is for me. Papa, it's for you. Hey. <laughs> it has happened. Yes, Papa. Hey, my wife. Thanks to your ukuleku. Eh? <laughs> hmm. I told you. Papa, you said it. A kukumeku has never disappointed me before. Oh. And will never disappoint me. You see? You see? Before you arrival here, a kukumeku told me. Really? Yes! The same kukumeku said that that new guy is going to buy a Range Rover Sport for you. Hey! Papa, if he does, if he buys that ride, uh -huh. Papa, you, you know that you will not be here. I will take you to the city. He has already bought the ride. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, Papa. Eh? Let me reserve my comments first. Even if it's your comment, I reserve it. <laughs> reserve it. Papa. I told you that you will swim in the ocean of money. money. Hey, Kukumeku! Hmm. The gods of my ancestors. You have never disappointed me before. Oh. And you know that I don't eat alone. This is for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Papa. Before this money will get into my room, mm -hmm. <laughs> Kukumeku must start. Okay, Papa. Oh, hey, Kukumeku. This is a gift from the new guy.
But wait, Choba. Come to think of it, Choba. What is going on? When are you getting married? Is it that you're being too selective? Or men are not coming? Which one? Do you expect me, Choma, mm -hmm. to throw myself at a man? Or I should get married to myself? Or do you expect me to get married to that stupid palm wine typer that came asking for my hand in marriage? Mm. Yoma, what do you expect? You are in the village. Obviously, it's people like that that will be coming for your hand in marriage. Eh? Look at you. are supposed to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you thinking or expecting those city men in the city hmm? to leave those ladies there, those beautiful ladies in the city, and come down to the village to marry? Yes! You're right! That is it! That is what I'm waiting for. You know what? You know, all those city men, when they get to the city, they will use all the city girls, use them the way they want to use them, and they will come back to the village to marry girls like me. You see, I am waiting for my own to come and marry me right here in the village. <laughs> I'm waiting for them. Show <laughs> me the dreamer. <laughs> eh? Keep dreaming. Hmm? Look at you. are here. You are still talking of one man to come and marry you. Eh? When me, I'm in the pipeline of getting a second man for myself. Sorry, what do you mean by you are in the pipeline of getting another man for yourself? Are you trying to tell me that you are cheating on your husband? Hey, Yoma. I'm not cheating on my husband. Did I tell you that one? Eh? What I'm saying is that that man is blind. And it's obvious that he cannot take care of himself. How much more taking care of me? Yes. So, uh, I have to get someone that can take care of me. Adora. Eh? Do you know that it is an abomination for a married woman to be cheating on her husband? It is also an abomination for a blind man to be married to a woman that can see. Hmm. So, and I know he was not like that before he got married to you. Eh, eh? So, should I now be the victim of his circumstances? Maybe ask, come and see me up. I'm going to visit a fire. Let's go, let's go. Husband of mine would have insulted me publicly. No, no, no. Oh. I honestly cannot continue like this. I can't. I mean, what's that? Dennis, I can't continue like this. Is this the house? Yes, sir. Uh, it's house 13, sir. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dora, is this your husband? Yes, he's my husband. And what is it? So, Dora, this is how you left me at the supermarket. Why would you do that? What were you expecting? That I would stand there with you even after seeing my cosplay. So that they will all know that I'm married to a blind man. Oh, so you left me at the supermarket because you saw your cosmates. When I married you, was I blind? How will they know that I got married to you when you could still see? Huh? Um, young man. Just take it easy, sir. I can see that you are going through a lot your marriage. A whole lot. It's better for me to remain single than get married to this kind of a woman. Can you imagine? House. Can, 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 can you hear that? Can you hear that? See, 
Let me tell you this. We just have to stop going out together, okay? And just move. Move from this place. Please don't injure me. Go. Move. That's the way. Go in. Did I ask you to, to help me? Did I ask you? Did you not leave me at the supermarket? Why are you helping me now? Go in. Get inside. Staying outside. Honey? Oh my God! What? Baby? What have you done? What was that? Huh? I, I just don't understand you. Why do you like punishing me? Why? Honey, how am I punishing you? Huh? You know my condition. I, I I cannot see. You cannot see, right? You cannot see. That's why you messed this whole place. I mean, who are you giving the whole job? Huh? You want me to suffer my head out of this house because you cannot see? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm very, very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive you, right? Okay. I see. I see that that blindness, this blindness of yours has really affected your brain. Ah. Baby, wh why are you insulting me? Huh? Why are you insulting me? I mean, can't you reason? Can't you reason at all? Baby, that is too much, you know? You actually know how to ruin my day! Ha! Honey, I, 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 I need... Get out! Honey? Baby? Fried egg, I'm smelling. Honey? Honey, are you there? I can really smell this fried egg. -o. Honey? Baby, can I have some of this egg? Huh? Please. I'm very, very, very hungry. Huh? Honey? Please.
What? Is that what you're saying? What? I, I, I just want eggs to, to eat. I'm very hungry. Really? Yes. You want eggs to eat, right? You want eggs? Take it! Ha! You want eggs, right? That is it! Eat it! Take all of it! Baby, did you just throw the eggs at me? Because I asked you for some? Why, why, why would you do that? You know what? You were so frustrated. You are annoying! I mean, you irritate me! What the hell? I mean, I, you just... I'm trying to get over the fact that you, you, you poured your saliva on my food and the next thing you, was your hand. I didn't pour saliva on your food. I just touched eggs. You wanted egg, right? And I've given you egg. Hope you enjoyed it! Nonsense! Please get out of my way! Dora. Dora, where are you going? So I, I'm not going to eat. Eh? You are also wasting food in this house. You will give me food. And you are wasting it. I don't know what has come over her. She was never like this. She was very sweet. Very loving. Very supportive. This is not the door I married. Start. No! Okay, okay, you're just gonna stop this now. No! no. Why, why do you want me to stop? Because you have huh? to! Did you see what you did upstairs? Oh, what did I do? You saw what you did upstairs, right? You saw what you did upstairs, right? Huh? Huh? You saw what you did, right? You're so funny. I love you. I love you too, baby. You know you're so sweet. Well, you make me sweet. Aww. <laughs> okay. Is it? Babe, I get so irritated when I have this feeling that I'm sharing my woman, my pretty woman, with a blind man. Dad, I mean, he's my husband. So, who am I to you? A piece of trash? Okay, okay. So, what would you want me to do to make you happy? Babe, for, for crying out loud, I do everything. I take care of you. I love you. I'm there for you. I do virtually every single thing. I want you to make me a promise. Mm. It's not much. You're going to promise me that you're not going to have any intimacy with him. He's not going to go there at all. Okay. Okay means what? I promise. One more thing, babe. Okay. You're also going to be promising that he's not going to kiss you or you, you guys are not going to have any sort of romance. That's okay. I 
promise, I promise, let's get it to business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Baby? Baby? Yes, what is it? Oh, you are here. Mm -hmm. um, please, the food is very cold. Can you help me microwave it? I don't understand. Baby, please. Mm -hmm. You know because of my condition, I don't want to break the plates in, in trying to microwave this food. <laughs> Wow, as in, not any person will see for this life. But you are not considerate, oh. I mean, you are not even happy that I made you lunch. I prepared lunch for you. You are not happy. Hmm? You want me to go back to that kitchen and get myself born again. I don't understand what you mean. Eh? Why are you being mean? Am I your maid? Baby, please, this, this food is, is too cold. I can't eat it like this. You can't eat it, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm coming. Wait for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I, I know my wife will not let me eat cold food. That's very correct. Babe? Where is the food? You say you can't eat cold food, right? So you have to wait for dinner. Ah. Perhaps that one will be cold hot. Baby, I, you can't do this to me. I, I'm very hungry. Okay, please just bring it. I, I, I'll, I'll eat it like that. Please. Dora. Dora. Dora, please. Honey, please, microwave this food for me, eh? please. Okay? I'm very, very hungry. Please. Baby. 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 Baby, please. Papa, the problem here now is that the new guy is talking about getting married to me. And it's it's making me confused. I don't know what to do. Dora. Papa. Dora. Papa. The new guy wants to marry you and you are confused. Yes, Papa, I am. And of Amazon. What you need to do is very simple. Divorce him officially and marry the new guy. Papa, how do I divorce him? Ah, he's blind. And you know he has been through a lot. He's, he's suffering. I can't divorce him like that. Hmm. You see what you're going to do now? They say under arrangement, arrange, the devil will see God. Collect a good money, enough money from that new guy. 
use that money to hire a very beautiful girl like you hmm. to take care of your blind husband. Simple. What? You know, I've never thought of that. Uh -huh. Hmm. <laughs> but they still, we still have a problem. This is my husband you're talking about. Yes, I know. And he knows my voice. And even my fragrance. He knows all of this. So how would that work? Dara. Yes, Papa. Let me say again. Your voice, he knows. Mm. Yes. Fragrance or whatever you call it, fragrance. No, nothing like that. Except when you spray perfume. Perf. Eh? Okay. But if he want to know or recognize or identify your voice, why am I serving these gods? Hmm. This is my unique inheritance for my forefathers. I will use this shrine to manipulate his sense of understanding. He will be behaving like Mumu. That he will not differentiate between you and mm. that lady. Papa. Oh. Hey. Papa, you know you're a blessing to us. I am. I am. I've never thought to this point. Jesus. Papa, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Yes. They smart like mm. your father. Yes, well, I agree with you, Papa. Mm. You are smart. I <laughs> want my daughter to be swimming mm. in the ocean of money. money. No, 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 don't even go there. How can your father be advising you to do such a thing? Your father that is an elder, that is so, supposed to know that such act is an abominable act. Chioma. Eh? See, I trust my father's judgment. Whatever my father says is the right thing. And moreover, don't you know that what elders sees sitting down? Hmm? We, the young ones, cannot see it even climbing on top of a tree. So whatever he says is okay by me. What if the blind man finds out that you are not you have not been the one taking care of him? That. Don't worry about that. My father will handle it. Yes, my father is going to manipulate his sense of reasoning. Don't forget that it's not all elderly advice or judgment like you said that are correct. See, I just I just brought this to you for you to be aware of it. I'm not asking for any advice. Whatever my father said is what I want to do. Let's go, please. Let's go. Who's there? Come in, the door is open. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who's, who, who are you? It's Princess. Oh, Princess. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Um, where is Dora? Oh, Dora, she, um, she's busy upstairs. I thank God you're here. Please, I, I want to use the washroom, the restroom, actually. Can you please help me? Um, sure, why not? Okay. Uh. This way. I actually got tired of um, shouting Dora. Eh? Yeah. I've called and called and called, yet she doesn't pay me no attention. I, I think she's really busy inside. She's busy? Yeah. Okay. This is... Yeah? I... I smell a very masculine cologne. Um, yeah. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh. 
smells really nice. But why? Why do you um, use masculine colognes? Um, that's my favorite. Oh, that's your favorite? Yeah. Wow. It's true. There are some girls that love masculine colognes. Yeah. What was the meaning of that? Eh? Dora, talk to me. What was the meaning of that? Yeah, calm down. Dora, this is not fair. What is not fair? You have no idea of what is fair and what is not. Babe, I have been through a whole lot. If you really love him like you claim, please tell me so that I can actually stop the marriage plan I'm having between him and the other girl and you get married to him instead. What? You're actually planning to get another girl married to your own husband? He used to be my husband, not anymore. I don't understand. He signed the divorce paper. He signed what? Honey, is that you? <laughs> yeah, baby. It's me. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. There's something I would want you to do for me. What is that? You see, baby, um, ever since this incident, a whole lot has been on my mind. And, um, you know, we have been dwelling on his savings. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I thought it wise that I should get a job. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, honey, that, that is so thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. You see why you're my soulmate? Aww. Okay, so I'll be needing your signature. I want you to stand as a guarantor for me. Sure, yeah, that is not a problem. Oh, darling. <laughs> I love you so I much. I love you too. Okay, let me quickly grab the table. Okay. Oh. Uh, that's it, baby. Oh, can you please help me with that? Yes, baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, let's do this. You are oh, my baby. Okay, let me help you with this. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's the pen. Let me help okay. you. So you're going to be signing here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're a darling. You are, you are a darling. <laughs> okay, it's one more. Yeah? Yes, baby. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. You are my pride. <laughs> okay, you are I... my joy. <laughs> okay, baby. You can have this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That will go. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Can I, can I can I get a kiss? Uh, okay, uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, I've got a new already. It's okay, it's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine, fine, right? <laughs> All right, later. Okay. I'll see you, darling. Okay. <laughs> That's it, baby. Yes. I'll be upstairs. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Do you want to join no, me? No, it's fine. It's, I'll join you later. Okay, okay, baby. I'll see you soon. Hey, Dora. What happened? What did Dennis ever do to deserve this kind of hardship and treatment from you? What? I went blind. And jobless at that! Do you think it's easy? It's not! I mean, I've been to a whole lot, okay? It is not easy for me. What I'm doing is actually the best thing. Did you just say the best? Then why not tell him the truth instead? 
instead of playing with his feelings, making him believe that he was still the woman he got married to. Meanwhile, he's with a different lady. Why? It's because I care about him. That is why I am doing this. I'm not leaving him like that. I'm leaving him with a companion. <sighs> You're getting it wrong. And I promise you will regret it. Babe, you just need to stay away from this. Are you leaving? Like seriously? Baby? Yeah. Oh. You're back. Yeah. Um, uh, are you? Fine. Oh, I'm fine. Babe? Yes, Dad. Are you the only one in this house? Yes, it's just me. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I sense a lot of movements in, in the house. It's just my thing. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Ah, that's good. Baby? Yes? Okay, there's something I want to tell you. Oh, sure. Well, go ahead. Okay. Um, you know, I've not been the best wife for mm. it. And I'm willing to change. You're ready to change? Yes, baby. I'll be the best wife. The one you, you've ever wanted. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, that is so sweet of you. You know, I, I miss you. Mm -hmm. And I love you so much. I, I am glad that I I am having my wife back. <laughs> yeah. And baby, can we can we go upstairs? Because the way you're talking to me right now is like <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, just give me a minute, okay? Okay, you're coming in? Eh? Yeah, I'll give it to Okay. Oh, <laughs> you're back? That was fast. Oh, 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 I missed this. Oh, I missed this. Baby, come in, come in, come in, come in, come right now. I told you my image in my legs is just, it's just charity. It's just coffee. Oh. How did it go? He almost suspected you were really not the one. So I tried to convince him you were the one. And I thought he bought it. I think he bought it. Great. Yes. Why are you doing this? I mean, your husband is a cute guy. And every woman out there would want to have him. Even as a blind man. I see you prostitute have no taste. Ah! The moment you're being paid. Uh, that's all. You're not concerned about their disability. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, at least I do my and get paid. What about you? The woman who brings in different kinds of men in her matrimonial home, which she shares secret with her husband. I'd rather be a prostitute then. Will you shut up your mouth? <sighs> Does it hurt to be told the truth? Huh? You know what? I'm going to allow all of this. I'm going to swallow all of this. Do you know why? Because you're willing to take off a body from my shoulder. Nonsense, rubbish. Bitch.
Okay. I thought about it already. Alright. Just talk. I accept. I'll marry him. You do? You will marry him. Thank you. It's oh. good news. Okay. Let's get it done already. Let's get started. Hey. Promise me you won't come back for my husband in the future. Okay. You're so funny. Like, come back for who? A blind man? I mean, who on earth will go after a blind, jobless man? If not for people like you. My dear, don't worry, you can keep him all to yourself. Okay? Thank you. Really? Yeah. Like, seriously? Fine, I accept. I'll keep him to myself with my full chest and my eyes on you. <laughs> you don't need to. Okay. Ah, you made my day. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> I can explain. Honey, huh? is that you? Y yes, y yes, it's me. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. You, you, you want something to drink? Uh, uh No, I'm fine. Have oh. you had something to eat? No, uh, not dinner. Oh, okay, in that case, I'll, I'll make you something. Your favorite. Oh, huh. thank you. Okay, okay. Let me take it here. Take it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy, okay? Easy. Walk straight. Come on, walk straight. Easy. Easy. No, no, straight, 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 straight. Sorry. Okay. Safe, safe, safe. Sorry. Dora. Huh? Yeah. Please. Um. Hurry up with the food. Okay, I will. I ever signed to this life torturing punishment. I've fallen so deeply for this, Dennis. God, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, God. Jesus. What can I do? I, I, I can't tell him. I can't know. Expecting someone. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Who's there? Come in. Oh god. Hey babe. Oh. Hi. What's up? Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. Sit. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I think I need to allow you guys as well. Okay. 
Take care. Take care. Take care. I'll be with you soon. I miss me too much. I love you too. Ah, <laughs> hope it doesn't stress you locating that place. Don't. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I don't understand. What are you saying? You don't understand what? Is this your husband's house? What are you doing here? Babe, I chose happiness. What that stress, mate? I've, I've been through a lot. You should understand me. And you think leaving your, your helpless blind husband all alone in that house would help solve issues? What will you have me do? Huh? I mean, I've been through a whole lot. You know. You can actually tell. Okay, this stranger you're staying with, has he paid your bright price? He has plans. He has plans? Yes. Dora, you are getting it all wrong. I promise you, you are getting it wrong. I just don't know what to do. What else to say about this, but I know I'm on the right track. Okay? On whose side are you? Dennis or mine? I'm on nobody's side. I'm just standing for the truth. I am telling you the truth, and that's what's best for you. You really need to see this. Okay, can we please stop? Let's forget about this, okay? Just forget him. Um, Ada. Papa. What is happening? What is causing the delay that this man don't want to come and uh, do something on your head? Papa, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm? I tried to talk, to talk to him for him to come do something on my head. I just don't know what he's doing. He's so reluctant about it and I'm so tired. Papa, I think you should talk to your girls. Yeah? So that they will talk to him. Talk to them. Let them conclude what they have started. Yeah? I, I will. I will because I am not comfortable with this situation. Okay. In bringing money to me, funding your welfare, and yet he has not done anything to show that he is interested in getting married to you. Eh? I want you to get a total grip of this man. I want him to answer my in law. So that whatever we ask him to do, he will be doing them. Eh? Yes, well, just like you said, I will consult my gods. Okay, I will consult my gods. My gods yes, will do something about it. Okay, yes. Okay. Ah, what for? Dora. With all the things you have done to me. What? I will never forgive you. I will never ever forgive you for all the things you have done to me. I did not deserve any of this. I did not. Baby? Is hey, that you? Yeah. Are you alright? Yes, I. Are you sure? I'm fine. Are you crying? Oh, um, that. You know, um, after the accident, I, I get teary sometimes. Oh, that? Yes. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, okay? Okay. Sorry. You're fine, okay? Mm. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> sure, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, are we eating today? Cause... Sure, we yeah. <laughs> are. What do you want? Um, Unquari. Just that? And, um... Baby! Sweetheart. I'm all dressed. Let's go. How do I look? Hope I look good. You look good. I'm not happy. 
What's the problem, babe? I am not happy. I mean, today we are going for this party, tomorrow the other. By this time, I'm supposed to be married to you. We are supposed to be married. Not going for one party and the other. I don't, I don't understand you anymore. This was the reason why I left my husband's house. Okay, listen to me. I understand. Okay? I'm just trying to put one or two things together. You know, I don't want, you know, those small parties and all that. I want to give you is a grand wedding like make you the princess on that day like you know invite all stars to the wedding and all that so i have to put all these together okay you need to smile on that day <sighs> it takes process it's mm? getting too long i understand darling i want your friends to know that your present husband is better than the former That's true. But you just have to be fussed about it. Be quick about it. I will, darling. Just take it easy, okay? I will. Yeah, who's it? You expecting someone? Yeah, my friend. Oh, Come okay. in! She's here. Okay. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank God you came at the right time. We're about leaving. Leaving to where? I thought I told you we were going for a baby shower today. A baby shower? You forgot. I thought we were supposed to go to my boyfriend's house today. Oh, baby, please, no. It's today. Let's try, please. Here, yeah, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the It's at his friend's place. Don't worry, you guys just follow me. You guys will like love the place. Let's go. Is this the baby shower you said we were coming for? Sure. It's the baby shower I told you we were coming to. I mean, Tessie! Wait, you're pregnant for the blind man? Yes, yeah, she's pregnant for the blind man. But the blind man can see. Dennis! You, you mean you can actually see me right now? He was never blind. We had a bet after his surgery to check how faithful you could be. But it's obvious. Oh, well, father. How are you doing now? I'm good. Are you okay now? Like, you're really good? Yes. You can see me? I can see you. <laughs> are you good at that? I can see you. The doctor said um, I should give you time and then I'll be fully recovered. All oh, thanks to my wife. She has been an amazing woman. I mean, throughout these hard times, she's been there for me. She's been so, so supportive. And I really appreciate her for that. We have to cut you here, please. Let's give thanks to God first that you are you're gradually getting better. Please. As for your wife, I'm very sure that if you're permanently blind, she will leave you. Are you saying that my wife will leave me if I'm like blind permanently? I'm very sure. No, not my wife. My wife can never leave me. She, we love each other too much. Send me all that, all those love, love, long story and all that. If you think she, you love her so much and she loves you, why not place a bet? Mm, on my wife. Okay. 
Are you talking or? Are you talking? Okay. Yes, um, doctor, it's me. How are you? Good. Uh, please, I want to to ask for a little favor. Should in case my wife comes to the hospital or comes to see you, please just um tell her that my sight is permanent that I can see. Yes, I will explain later. Thank you so much. Bye. Now you're talking now. I've always known you to be I did not even ask you what are we betting? How much are you betting? It's a million now. You are big boys now. <laughs> Hello? Guy. I'm really feeling bad. I just I just finished making out with my best friend's wife in the name of a game or bets. Bro, I she's not faithful to you, we know. Let's just quit all this and you reveal everything to her that this is what is going on now. Instead of me soiling myself and my hands in all this, I'm tired, guy. I want to quit. If it's me, I can't stand it. And I feel really bad. Guy, please. You don't want to cut it. God, why now? I feel so bad. You're my best friend and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just because of the bets. Ah. Um, Emeka, what happened now? I, I said you send this talk to me now. Trans make, just make the transfer to, to my to my dorm account. Yes, just make it to my dorm account. Yes, yes, yes. So I can buy my, my baby the Ferrari. I said I don't buy her. Yeah, just just make the transfer. Yes, four hundred fifty million. You're never close to fit first, so just something else. No, <laughs> no. I mean, what have you deceived me? So you you know yourself, and you actually deceived me. It's obvious, right? Deal with it. Yes, there is something I want to tell you. I... That you're not Dora. I know very well that you're not Dora. You know? Yes. I know that you're not my wife. You can see. Yes, I can see you. You're Stacy. An orphan who grew up in an orphanage. Lived at Block 18, Alex Street, Tantan, Lagos, a prostitute. Stand up. Huh? Stand up. Six. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Why would you come to my house pretending to be my wife? Why? I'm sorry, I did it out of frustration. Please forgive me. Frustration? I should forgive you? <sighs> sorry, please. Shut up. It's obvious, right? 
Deal with it. This is bad. This is bad. I feel betrayed right now. Oh, Baddest. <laughs> Good evening, man. Thank you so much, man. Black like man. <laughs> you have to say that? Yes, bro. We did it. Sure. Thank you. Uh, baby. You okay? So let's the party continue, okay? So cheer up and down. Um, it's a beautiful day, you can't cheer up. My life is a mess. What, what will I do now? Where do I go from here? Dora, I warned you. Just look at you. I mean, I, I don't get what you were trying to say. Like, you actually dated your husband friend without you knowing that he's your husband's friend. I mean, how is that possible? How was I to know? I mean, Charles deceived me. You know, he was never the type that would come home. Charles was not a visiting type. He was the only thing that's hanging out things. How was I to know? Babe, I don't even know. Then he said something about Charles visiting him when I was not home. How would I have known? Charles came and deceived me. He deceived me. He said he was steady. I noticed I saw his face and I was like, Teddy, I think I've seen you somewhere before. And he said no. He, he, he deceived me. He said no, that he's not the one. And he's based in Canada. How would I have known that it was Dennis's friend? Just look at you. I warned you. I remember talking to you several times. But no, you said you chose happiness over everything. Now where is the happiness? Just look at you. Look at you. My, my life is a mess. Look at me. Okay, where do I go from here? I can't even think. I'm helpless, babe. I'm helpless. I can't think. My life is a mess. Babe, help me. What do I do? Help me. Since Dennis is happily married to another woman, I would suggest maybe we can still go back to Teddy. I mean, Charles. Maybe he might accept you. Do you think so? I don't know. We just have to give it a try. Okay. Then let's do it. Let's start. Let's go ahead immediately. Please. All right, let me get my shoes on back and Daddy. please wipe off those tears. Yes, who is that? Yes. What are you doing? Um, I can't. We can't. Who's we? Please, of course. What are you doing in my house? Thank you. Thank you. I don't think so. Let me see his life anymore. No place in his life. Baby, please, I love you. The same love you told Dennis before he was blind is the same love you're telling me. So, what you need if I'm like tomorrow? You look for someone else to tell you love. You don't know the new you are. You're wicked, you're honest, and you have no shame. You're as cheap as anything but not my apartment. You're worthless, you have no, no value, you're, you're, you're just something else. For your information, did you, have you ever asked why I always wear this ring? Have you ever asked about this? I'm happy to marry with four kids. I'm fully dressed on my way to the airport to pick my wife. And for your information, if I ever Around my premises. You know what I'll do to you? You want to know what I'll do to you, right? Wait till I tell you. And for you, that always leave this 
Need to put this nickel to my house. But I don't see in my house again. Papa, honestly, I didn't know that all of this was just a game plan. Papa, you needed to be there to see how these people humiliated me. Hey! They embarrassed me! Papa, the worst of it now is that the girl I brought to Dennis, my husband, mm -hmm. she's pregnant for him. Hey, Kukumekwe! Papa, my own is finished. Hey! That's finished. Hey! My daughter, Papa. stop crying. Your own has not finished. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. You see that lady you arranged for Dennis, whether she's pregnant or not, as far as I'm concerned, she must leave that house. Papa, how is that possible? It is possible because before Ekumeko, Nothing is impossible. Okay, Papa. I'm assuring you this. Okay, okay Papa. Stop crying. You see what you need to do now? Write out that your Dennis address for me. Write it out. I'm coming. Okay, Papa. I'm coming. Okay, Papa. Uh -huh. Dora, uh -uh. Papa, where is the address I say you should prepare for me? Papa, where are you going to like? I am going to the city. I am going to see that your husband, Dennis. Papa, are you sure about it? Give me. Here's the address. Okay. Dennis, we shall see. I am not going alone. I am going with the great Ekukumik. Huh, yes. Okay. Hey! Ekukumeku! Ekukumeku! Hear me and hear me well. I am going to the city to take possession of what belongs to my daughter. Nobody trifles with you, Ekukubeko, and get the West out free. Nobody. Nobody. Now, go with me. Hmm. Dora. Papa. I am off to the city. Okay, Papa. I am coming back with good news. Okay, Papa. Papa, go well. I will. I will. I will.
I overheard your discussion with Dad. I've always told you that I keep advising you, but you choose to take that advice. No, look at where it has landed you. I had everything that happened. You've lost it all. But look at the calamity that befell you for believing in what Daddy is practicing. Dorothy, the Bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. Proverbs 14, 12. Can you see the destruction that has befallen you? No, look at the level of destruction that has befallen you for believing in the idol that dad introduced you to. Well, my God is not a God of condemnation and I will not condemn you. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto you. I don't care what you have lost, for God can restore them back. Ah. Mm. Dora. Papa. Dora. Papa, how did it go? I, I am finished. Papa, how did Papa, it go? What is your finish? What happened? Who was the boss? Hey, Kukumeko. What happened now? Look now. What's the problem? My father that I inherited from my forefathers has been snatched away. As I got to the city, I brought out the address you wrote for me. I was going through it to locate the number of the house. One small boy from nowhere just came out and snatched my band. Boom! Not only that it snatched the bag and the content, other contents in it. What is paying me now is my ancestral of all. My ancestral of all is gone. So, Papa, what you're trying to say is that they snatched the offer. Are you deaf? No. Meaning that they snatched your gods. But so you're trying to tell me that your gods could not defend itself. <sighs> but you see, I don't know you worship an idol that cannot defend itself. Because the God I serve cannot be snatched. He's a God that defends itself, the God of heaven. <laughs> Come on, get away before you, you I'll leave. lock my eyes. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I'm going to say something now. The power has been taken away. Dora. Why don't you go back to Dennis? Beg him. Maybe he will forgive you and take you back. Go back to him. Now that the lady I brought to replace me is heavily pregnant. Child! You see what you cost? You see what you have done to yourself? I told you that time. I warned you that what you're doing is not right. You said, no, 
that you are listening to your father's elderly advice. Eh? Look at what his advice has brought you to. Look at it. You have lost totally everything. You lost everything. The only thing I have for you now, the only money, the goodie advice I have to give to you, forget about him. Yes. Just, you just have to let go. Move on with your life. Start afresh. No. I disagree with you. I can't leave my husband to a total stranger. I will get my husband back. I'm not leaving him for anyone. Maro, you look familiar, like I've met you before somewhere, somehow. I don't think so, because I, I told you I be abroad, so and I just flew in like some days back, so I don't think it's me. Don't stress it, you're a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, problem. Um, so what can I offer you? Yeah, come in. Hi. Teddy. Yes, Derry. Is this the baby shower you said you were coming for? So, it's the baby shower I told you you were coming to. I mean, Tessie. <laughs> you're pregnant for the blind man? Yes, yeah, she's pregnant for the blind man. But the blind man can see. Dennis, you, you mean you can actually see me right now? He was never blind. We had a bet after his surgery to check how faithful you could be. But it's obvious. Dorothy. Yes? Where are you going to? I'm going to see a friend. And where are you moving the dirty plates for? No, Dora, look at the compound. Look at how dirty it is. Do you expect me to pick broom and begin to sweep while you're here? I think I've been the one doing it all the while. That is... What's the difference now? I've been doing it because you were in your husband's house. But now that you're back home, you have to do it. See, you do not have to remind me of my ex-marriage, okay? I have to remind you in case you've forgotten. See, I respected you while you were in marriage. But now that you choose to come back and divorce your husband, you have to do it. But you have to go in there, wash your dirty plates, pick broom, and come and sweep this compound. I'm not washing any dishes. I am going out to see my friends. Please, let me be. Papa, Papa, talk to him, man. Hey, hey. that whatever they call you, you big for nothing, son. In case you don't know, I want you to realize and know that your sister was once in her husband's house. That way you've been respecting her is the way you're supposed to be respecting her till now. Well, look at what you're saying. Instead of you to advise her on the right thing to do, your service before her. Will you shut up? Okay, you will not respect her because you're in your father's house. Whose daughter is she? Is it not the same father that gave back to you? You that is very, very unproductive and she that is productive, making money, bringing money for you and I to feed. Okay, now, if you claim that here is your father's house, is it not the same father that gave birth to you that gave birth to her? But I'm still in my father's house. So she went to her husband's house and decided to come back. I did not leave my father's house. She had better go back or do what she ought to do in this house. She can't be here and expect me to, to be picking rooms and be sweeping the compound while she's here. Before rubbish you are talking now, look at how dirty the compound is. Go in there, collect cutlass, come and start clearing the gra grasses and sweep the compound, right? But keep, keep, keep giving her wrong advice. You, you are productive and you're here. Pro the productive people ought to be in their husband's house, not to be in their father's house. Now you know there is a shame and disgrace. Go back to your father's house. Go back to your husband's house. Any day I hear such rubbish from your mouth again, 
I will lay the match for you to lie down. Mm. Uh, Dora? Daddy. Go to where you're going. Papa, thank you. Papa, should you be in the house and expect you to do this? Oh, my child. Better, better. Come on. Do you know whether she is going to catch another multi-millionaire as she's going now? Papa, keep, keep misleading her. That was how you advised her and now she's no longer in marriage. Keep misleading her. Come on, get out. You are a big fool. Asan pete mwa. Me go and hustle. Go and hustle. Be money to your daddy so that I will be free from all these financial attacks. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello, baby girl. My girl. Hello. What do you think? What? I am not talking to you. This is the person I'm calling. Okay. Yes, what? What do you want? Yeah, thank you. I like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. As a matter of fact, I hate you. Why? I love you. I want to marry you. Seriously. Don't let that nonsense come out of your mouth again. Hmm? What is wrong with you? Let this be the very last time you say that again from your mouth. Can you imagine? Is it because I'm in this village, everybody will not start talking to me anyhow? Respect yourself. Don't you dare come close to me again. Babe, let's go. Let's get out of this place. I will get you. What is wrong with you? Eh? What are you doing here? Adara, calm down. Calm down. I came here to see your father. You came here to see my father? For yes. what? As what? As who? Um, Dora, calm down. Um, like I said, I want to marry you. Um, I will take good care of you. Believe me. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! him out. Uh, are you okay? Are you mad? Are you higher? Is something wrong with you? You want to see my father for what? You want to marry me? You love me? God, I thought I warned you out there that any way you see me, my spirit, my ghost, or anything that concerns me, you should avoid me. Hmm? That's not enough for you. You now have the gods, the nerve to come to my father's house. To do what? Um, Dara, see, I am not in the same place with those people you think about. I am a different person. I am serious with you. Believe me, I'm a different person. Seriously. Excuse me, shut up. See, I have told you, avoid me. Is it because my husband left me? That means every riffraff in this village will not start coming to seek for my hand in marriage. Is something wrong with you? You will take care of me. Where is your investment? Where is your car? Where did you build your house? Eh? You don't have any of this. And you're coming to seek for my hand in marriage. Look at you. Eh? Just take a very good look at yourself. Are we in the same class? No. Are we in the same level? No. If I close my eyes and open it, if you don't leave my father's house, eh? See, when I see you in this house, I swear to God, I will pour you hot water. I will baptize you with hot water. Get out. From my heart, I know that I will take good care of you. Eh? My name is Dora, not Dara. Okay, Get Dara. Get out! You take good care of me. Where is your investment? Where is your money? Where are you? Where are you? I'm talking to you. Leave! Go! Shut. Papa! Papa, I'm not happy! Kara, huh? what is it? Papa, do you know ever since I left my husband's house and I came back to this village, people that have been coming for my hand in marriage are old, ugly, and miserable men! Papa, man, I'm tired. You have to do something about it. Hmm. Dara. Papa. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Honestly, it is a norm in this community that mm -hmm. when a lady leaves her husband's home back to her father's home, the people that will come after her asking for her hand in marriage are very old, ugly, miserable people. 
especially when the lady has given birth in her husband's house. And such ladies are regarded as second-hand ladies. But I am going to assure you of one thing. That will not be your portion. See. Let me see a smile on your face. Yes. Well. It is not going to be your portion. Okay. My daughter. Okay. I am going to look into the space and fashion out how to replace you spiritually. Mm -hmm. And when that is done, <laughs> important, handsome, hot blooded, mm. money, young men will be coming after you. Oh, Papa, you have to be fast about it. Papa. Then it, it will be left for you to make a choice. Yes. Eh? Okay. Your money is running like water. I remember when you were up and doing how you used to eh, lavish money on me. So I want that to continue. Okay? Okay, Papa. Eh, I, I'm not dead yet. Papa. Do something. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thank you. Papa, have you eaten? Uh, I, I'm not yet, but let, let's go in okay. and see what will. Okay. Hey! Mm. No, no, no. Mm. What? I thought you said you wanted to shower alone. Oh, you want me to come in? No, no. So why are you spying Sorry. on me? Okay. You are welcome. What do you say you want from my family? Steve, I'm here to marry your daughter. Ooh. You're interested in getting married to my daughter. That's good. That's good. So, and that you have come to do without eating a bottle of snack or a carton of beer. Anyway, what do you do for a living? Steve, I'm also in the market. Oh, it was higher. That's great to hear. And um, with this, we are endless hustling, it was harder. Which means you don't have a shop, you don't have goods inside the shop. How do you intend to take care of my daughter? Chief, I believe things will get better if I get married to your daughter. That's great. Very sweet. Well, I will not blame you because if you see this country is in order, they are doing what they're supposed to do. You wouldn't have been hustling. You wouldn't have been running around the market with us higher. But since it has come to be this way, let it be. But I don't think that you can take care of my daughter with him or higher. of marriage. Get out! Get out. Ooh. Get out. Thank you, Mary. Papa! You have baptized him for marriage. No, but what, what is this now? Eh? What is this? What are these useless people coming for my hand in marriage? It's all right. 
How am I getting better or worse? You will smile at last. Just trust me. You are going to smile at last. I hope I smile at last, but I don't know why I smile at last. No way. Let me know. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 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 Go, go, Talking about me, gossiping with my name in this village. Eh? Papa, am I the first to get married and come back to my father's house? Why are they gossiping with my name? Eh? Why are they making mockery of me in this village? I heard her telling people, hey, she was lost married, now she's back to her father's house. Papa, can you imagine that? I'm tired of this village. I am frustrated. I want to leave this place. Papa, do something. Papa. Because of gossip, you want to kill yourself, right? <laughs> that lady that is gossiping against you, has she married? She has not been interested going to a man's house not to talk of getting married. But you yourself, you, you, you are once married and comfortably and happily lived with the man before things change. Eh? So you should not kill yourself. No, I'm going to talk of it. It has been giving me sleepless nights. I am worried over your situation. And at the same time, I have come to the resolution that we may consider one of those men that have been coming here asking for a hand in marriage. Papa? Eh? Which men are you talking about? Especially. That one that said uh, um, he sells phone accessories uh, that is that pushes he sells phone accessories in the bar. But my problem now is how to see him again. Ah, Papa, hmm? you're talking about somebody that is pushing me by Papa, how can you subject me to that kind of thing now? No, it's not that. He's not pushing by hey. But he uses that barrel as you see as his own warehouse. Like people sells at um, the water, sells at uh, Alaba International, sells at um, um, Red Fair. That guy we are seeing there is his own the water, Alaba or Red Fair, uh, as well as his own warehouse. So it's better than that person that is running market uh, on your side. It's better than him. Papa, but you want to bring me down to this level, to, to the level of bar barrel pusher. What the hell is he pushing? Eh? Full accessories. Full well, accessories by my wristwatch. Papa, Papa, think of something with me now. Think. Yeah, <laughs> So, if I only decided to marry this man, what will I do? Eh? What will you have me do? When everybody in this village is insulting and humiliating me, eh? Building abusive words on me, what will you have me do? I'm tired of the insult and the humiliation. That's the reason I decided to get married to this one in the first place and go with him to the city. My dear, you have to be careful this time around. You really have to be careful, so you don't make the same mistake you made before. Honey, hurry up. Let's go. 
We are running out of time. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Just Mama, take care of yourself. I will. Take care of yourself. And I'll be praying for you. I will make sure I always put you in prayer. And I pray God takes control. Take care of yourself. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Where is your daughter? Where is your daughter? Uh, what, what happened? Don't pretend as if you don't know that your daughter has come back to this house. Please, I want to collect every doubting I'll spend on her. Or else. Or else what? Hmm? I asked you. Or else what? Eh? Excuse me, are you shouting at me? Before? No, I should embrace you. Oh, welcome. Thanks for coming. What should I offer you? Come on, get out of my father's house. Get out! She said you should get out. Mm -hmm. I am not going anywhere until I collect every doubting I've spent. Then I can go. Yes, I'll give it to you. Papa. You heard what he said now. But I must return every cover he spent on your head. And you know, after all, money are taking their own. And the, 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 the remnant wasn't even enough for me. And I don't have it. To so return money spent on the woman's head lies on the family they know. The ones who are collected, they will not return it. So the best option for both of us now is for you to follow him. Simple! Go back with me! Quiet! Keep quiet there! Papa, who did you say I should follow this man to? Well, he's out now. Which house? That's that big house where he lives! Go back with me! Quiet! 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 This man lied to you. He does not even have a, a barrel of his own. He hires barrel to push his accessories or whatever he calls it. No, I was joking. Is that true? <laughs> that does not matter here now. Hi. Papa, ask this man to leave this house. When I leave now. She said you should go. Um, Ichie, you heard your daughter. See, I want to collect everything I spend. If I will leave, oh, but I must collect every doubt I spend. Then I will go. If not, if not, if not, what? Come on, keep quiet there. Papa, you are, you are the one I will blame for all of this. Yes, you are the one to be blamed. You made me leave my husband's house. I left my husband's house and I'm back here. You promised me that this thing you call your gods will fight for me. You did not do anything. And now I am left with no option how to follow this man. Papa, I will not go with this man. I will not leave this house with this man. I cannot live in the gutters. I can't. And I won't. So you better leave my father's house now. Or you will not like what I will do to you. Get out! I said get out. I will go. I will go. But let me collect everything I spend. Then I will leave. Yes. Uh -uh. You cannot eat him me. Eat it with our own money. <laughs> Give me that one. You don't have to go. Come on, 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 come on,
Ne I'm sorry for not following your advice. Following that advice was the right thing for me. And I regret everything. I have lost everything, obviously. But please, can you lead me to your God? Mm, yes. She'll be my son. I will be left out. I also want you to lead me to your God. Because the gods I inherited from my ancestors has failed me. And the company that the gods of the man did not be. But you disappointed yourself and disappointed the people of this community by choosing to be selfish. Father, the Bible that I read and the custom of the land states that every altar demands justice. No wonder the tradition of the land, the law of the land, says that he that must come to keep it must have a clean hands. In the past, I've thought down on that same God who said, I rejected your religion. Not because I do not believe in the efficacy of the gods of the land, but because of the way you represent the gods. You should uphold justice, but rather you choose to uphold crime and value. After your selfish interest, after what you would do, not minding what gods of the land say concerning you. She was married once. She's the second time. She's the okay. Even the Bible that I preach says, Righteousness exalts the nation. This land is like a nation. For sin is in faith. Can you just see the report of the holiness of? The shameful thing that should back in service. I don't want us to drag more from this because my God, like I said, does not condemn. So we are not condemned now. Let us pray. But I bless you for who you are. You said you will not reject they that come to you. Eggs to, to eat. I'm very hungry. Really? Yes. You want eggs to eat, right? You want eggs. Take it. Ha! You want eggs, right? That is it. Eat it. Take all of it. Baby, did you just throw the eggs at me because I asked you for some? Why, why, why would you do that? You know what? You were so frustrated. You are annoying! And you irritate me! What the hell? I mean, I, you just... I'm trying to get over the fact that you 
you, you poured your saliva on my food and the next thing you, was your hand. Uh, I didn't pour saliva on your food. I just touched eggs. You wanted egg, right? And I've given you egg. Hope you enjoyed it. Nonsense. Please get out of my way. Dora. Dora, where are you going? So I, I'm not going to eat. Eh? You are also wasting food in this house. You will give me food. And you are wasting it. I don't know what has come over her. She was never like this. She was very sweet, very loving, very supportive. This is not the door I married. It's not. No! <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, 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 you're just gonna stop this now. No! no. Why, why do you want me to stop? Because you have huh? to! Did you see what you did upstairs? Oh, what did I do? You saw what you did upstairs, right? <laughs> you saw what you did upstairs, right? Huh? Huh? You saw what you did, right? Huh? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> you know you're so sweet. Well, you make me sweet. Aww. <laughs> okay. Here I am before you. Save your 